Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days That I Ways UK mod. So, you can see I'm having fun with the mod if I lose track of time. Um, <laughs> last episode, I recorded for like 50 minutes, and I'm only supposed to record for like 30, 35 minutes. So yeah, I went way, way over time, but that just means I'm having fun. That's a good thing. Um, I do need to level up though. I need position skill. If I have the position skill, I can make myself some bandages. I don't think I'm going to get it from skinning them. Oh, there's a car right here. The more we do, the more zombies we kill, the more stuff we range and break, the more XP we get. And that's what we really, really need right now. That and I need a jacket. So I'm either going to have to get myself like a poncho or something. Because at the moment, wait, don't we have... I think we have some yucca juice or yucca fruit or whatever it's called um, in the box over there. So I just need to drink one to cool down because if you're overheating like this, the biggest problem you're facing is the fact that you're... Hello? If you're overheating like this, you're going to run out of stamina. There is a ton of resources that we can still go dig up over there. So that might actually set us over the XP that we need. As soon as we start selling stuff to the trader, we will get XP for that as well. So that's awesome. Do we have a shovel? Please don't tell me the spider actually went in here. Remember we were looking for that one spider and we didn't find it? Imagine he actually decided to run inside over here. I want to see exactly what- how many- how much XP do you need to level up? It should show over here, XP to next level, 7000. And you get how much XP for just breaking this? 28, 44... Oh no, not another dog, not another dog. Please tell me that's just a small dog fighting with something. And that's not another guppy or dog horde coming. Ooh, that's a big dog, isn't it? No, it looks like a small one. I wonder if it's part of this horde that missed me. That forgot all about me and just ran past. That might be the case. Okay, what I want to do quickly is just get up over here. They actually destroyed the frames underneath, but they weren't fast enough to get all the way up. Okay, um, what was I looking for over here again? Oh, yucca juice, yucca juice, yucca juice. Uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, does cool you down. Although it doesn't say cool you down anymore, so I wonder if that still does the trick. We do have this. Can I make myself a poncho? Yes. Okay, a leather poncho should do the trick for now. Um, obviously, there's no way to completely block out the sun at the moment. But hopefully soon, we'll be able to do that. So we're going to sell these. What else can I sell? I need to sell a ton of stuff right now. Um, I can't, I don't want to sell the steel because we need that. I think this is it. If, if I don't level up from this, I'm just going to have to keep on going. Just keep on looting and see if I can't reach that level now. I need a bicep. Okay, so the more we loot, I need to find more industrial uh, garbage bins and stuff because I need to get the rest of this bike. I wonder if I shouldn't go loot the school. There should be a ton of resources in there, right? I wonder, I think the trader opens up at six. So I'm just waiting for six to come and then we're going to go. Now, we need to also need to make sure that we are completely okay over here. So we need bones. Um, oh, there's a bunny over there. Bones, repair this. We do need some of this. Trader Jules is now open. This just requires a normal repair kit, right? And the nice thing is this doesn't deplete your... I think I'm going to run around with this. Where is that repair kit? Um, that doesn't deplete your quality like in dur uh, or your durability. Like in Darkest Falls. In Darkest Falls, if you repair, <laughs> you're screwed. Boom, boom, boom. We can put this away for now. No, but we need this. We need this. We need the bandages that I just dropped. Wait, did I drop them? Oh, yeah. They look, They almost look like first aid bandages in this mod. Okay, since he's open now, let's just quickly go in there and see if we can't sell a few things. I do need to loot as, as much as possible, as fast as possible right now. Yep, yeah, what do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Okay, you have reset, good sir. So, what do you have for me? Uh, junk handle. <laughs> There's no way we can afford that. Um, junk handle bars, 10,000. We only have 1,000 to spare right now. Okay, so if we can get lucky, we can get ourselves... Hmm, what do I need? Ammo, a gun? Grandpa's awesome sauce? <laughs> yeah, let's waste the last bit of cash we have to buy something that's going to give us more cash, although we won't get as much cash. That's that's right. That sounds clever. 1.5. Food. We don't need food right now. 
Rockets. We don't need rockets. I do need pistol ammo. Though. We still don't have enough just for this. Just 106 shots. We don't have enough. I need to be sh uh, sure that I don't waste too much cash right now. Ooh, clay. If you have clay, we can actually do that quest. So that's not a waste. That's an investment. And you do not. Uh, do you have a proper tool for me? A proper shovel? No. Damn, you are useless, dude. It's always that way. You, you always get what you don't need and what you want, you don't get. And then later, when you don't want it anymore, all of a sudden you get it. Oh, hunting knife. Yes, that's going to be better. So I'm just going to do that. Thank you. I can actually drop this one now. For those of you who don't know, the hunting knife is way better than a melee weapon. The zombies bleed out. Uh, armor, armor, armor. No. Okay, I think that's it for now. A sale is a sale. A sale is a sale. Yeah, yeah, I know you hate me. Okay, uh, let's just drop this then. Unfortunately, I wonder if I should keep it on me. What are we going to need exactly to make this quest um, happen? We just need first advantages and uh, do we need cloth as well? I think you only, only need the aloe and you need the bandage, right? You don't need any other cloth and special stuff like that. So we're just going to keep what we have on us. Unfortunately, what we have on us is just a lot. Oh, wait, we already have one shovel, so I can do this. We don't need the cash. We can keep that. Still, we don't really have that many slots to work with right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just need to level up, so I need to go loot something now that's going to give me a ton of XP. But what? I, I said I'm going to do the school, right? Is that the school over there? I think that's the school. I can either go for the school, or I can go for this POI over here and move my way this way around. I should actually, you know what, I think I'm going to do that because there's um, forest over here and we do need clay. If I get myself 3,000 clay, then why not? I mean, it's going to take a while to get 3,000 clay, but still. Spiders? Please stay away. Guys, I hate it. I don't know how many of you guys have ever had a quest in this POI. But if you have a quest and it says that the loot is in this over here, sometimes it's in the house. There's actually a bunker, you could call it. There's an underground passageway leading from here to here. So if it says you need a quest, but the quest is, it shows the quest is there, but you can't find it. Then it's in this house. It's part of the same POI. It's dumb that they don't show you and say, oh, this is, come on, dumpster. I need that rucksack. If I can just get one rucksack, we can already loot way, way freer. At the moment, we have to be so careful when looting because we run out of stamina and everything. You know what? Let me just close the doors behind me. At least if a wandering horde or something were to come past, then we wouldn't die instantly. And once again, I didn't bring my wrench with me. Although then again, this early on, guys, I'm not really worried about the wrench that much. So we can wrench all the stuff, but that's stamina. We really want to waste all that stamina right now. I do not think so. I want to be careful that I don't accidentally open up and there's a guppy. So I need to have fast enough reflexes that if there's a guppy, I just close the door. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Oh, I can actually do the... Well, that's better armor. That's light armor 9. Uh, yeah, no, wait, 5. And this is light armor 7. So obviously the mining helmet is way better, but you can put more mods on this one. Choices, choices. Wait, this one's 10 heat resist. The one I made is 13 heat resist. That's an obvious one. We just want to make sure we get... Oh, I almost forgot about the mining helmet. I need to keep this light on at all times. Now, why or oh why was that door closed again? Is there a way to get through? I don't think so, right? Oh, you go through the house and you come up in this room, I think. Because otherwise, this doesn't make sense. Okay, let's see. That's locked. It's unlocked. It really bothers me that you, you can't find your way to any zombies. Like, there's no zombies over here. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. You can't break that one. I don't want to break my, my, uh, my knife by just hitting anything. We can't afford to just hit any single thing we come across. Okay. Um, I need a fire axe as well as soon as possible. At least we have this gun in case we come across something tough. And we do have the pistol. Oh, we have two pistols. Although my pistol is still better. See, this is the passageway that leads to the house. 
Just want to make sure there's nothing else good over here. Okay, now, the problem is, do I go for that passageway? Because if there's another guppy or something down there, I die. I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough to outrun a guppy right now. Oh, uh, wait, there's something to the roof as well. Wait, what? This is rather creepy. So you're spying on all your customers. Oh, this is really creepy. Oh, yeah, but it's modeled after the Bates Motel, right? I never really watched the movie in completion. Wait, what? If I can drop down there, that's the final stash. I just want to be ready to play something in case there's like a guppy or something over here. I wonder if I shouldn't break through the floorboards on the other one and go straight for the final stash. If I'm not mistaken, no, but there has to be another way to get to that stash because you can either go from the house to here or from here to the house. That's not both ways. Okay, food. I wonder, if I drop down here, will it be a room that I already entered? I just didn't pay attention? Or is this a new room? I think this is the first room I entered, so I should be safe. Yes. Okay. Dude, this is actually kind of cool. One thing leads to the next thing. Um, so you go through here. You go through here. Where's that room that we missed, though? It definitely looked like there was a room that we didn't get earlier. I just want to quickly go there, guys, because if I can get myself some of those boxes, I think that's the room that was locked. The one that had a vending machine in front of it. So if we can just quickly loot it from over here, just break through from the top, then we have a choice. Do we want to go inside the house, or we can at least go drop stuff off before going inside the house? Yeah. Please don't tell me there's like a hardened roof or like a ton of boss zombies or something down there. Okay, now all we do is this. I'm still crouched just in case. Hello? Hello? A stress like this actually plays on my bladder so much. Like I keep needing the toilet when I, every time I'm stressed like this, all of a sudden, ooh, my bladder. Okay, uh, tough guy glasses, we already, wait. I was already wearing the tough guy glasses. Why did they disappear? Okay, anyways, let's just quickly break out of here. We should be able to return through the roof. Or we can just break through the walls and stuff. But I think that's going to take a time. A, a long while. And I think it's going to be faster just jumping through the roof and crouching on back through. I hope we can actually get back. Because at the moment we had to crouch just to fit inside over there. And you can't crouch jump in this one. Or at least my skills aren't high enough yet to be able to crouch jump. Uh, ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So if I scrap these, it'll allow me to repair this one. Nice. Now these are all, ooh, almost forgot to loot this one. That would have been bad. Imagine there was a better or something in here. Ooh, generator bank. Paintbrush. I, it's been so long, guys, since I actually used the paintbrush. I used to actually paint stuff in the game as well, but then I just decided, eh, why? Why? Um, okay, now we have to change the shape to a ramp. Ramp, there you go. Okay, this is how we get back. So now we can also go and uh, go through the house, but I think let's just first go drop stuff off. Unfortunately, we haven't been lucky with the rucksack yet. Oh. Where did you just come from, dude? I wonder if that's a dog that's been roaming around. Oh, it might be a wandering horde. Who knows? Oh, boy. Uh, need to do this. Need to do this. There's either a wandering horde. No, it's definitely not a wandering horde. You know what? If I can open up the window over here, uh, shoot him through the window, why not? Because if he breaks through there, I'm going to have to hide in the roof. Come on. Oh, finally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That could have ended really badly. I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to do that. I should actually let them break this open for me. But just now, there's too many bosses or whatever's coming from that direction. I mean, especially if this was a wandering horde, I'm screwed. But if I let them break this open for me, at least I'll be able to go back through here, straight uh, down to the passage. Come on, stand up. You're being lazy right now. Brr. There you go. Thank you. Oops. That was a waste of ammo just now. 
Are you kidding me? The still had to break through this one anyways. But technically, I had nothing to worry because the dog would still have had to go through that one anyways. Okay, um, my bedroll is right there. I should first go drop stuff off, guys. We can't afford to be this encumbered. Especially since we're hungry, it's hot. We don't want to be carrying around too much stuff on us. I also need to invest in a point at a stage to be able to reload. I think it's running gun, right? To be able to, re uh, to run and reload at the same time. I wonder if the school perhaps has more of these dumpsters. Because I really need a rucksack. Even if it's just one. If we find one in this big town, that's enough. I mean, it's not really enough, but for now it's fine. If I can get lucky, perhaps to get the uh, bicycle or make my own bicycle. Then at least that way we'll be able to drive around and get ourselves stuff faster. Okay, do this. Thank you. And dump. I didn't even have to climb up over here. I'm just doing it to get better access. So this week, I should actually make a box of stuff we sell and box of stuff we keep. I mean, that makes sense, right? Do this. Drink one of these again. Ooh, my food and water is actually really low. I didn't, re I didn't pay attention at all just now. See, stuff like that can make you die if you're not careful. Um, I should sell that food. That's not all the way full, so let's just eat this one as well. This is going to open up a little bit more space over here to work with. And then I should probably just make one more chest because this is not enough. Damn, I need this first aid bandage. I wonder if I shouldn't just skip this and go straight for the forest at the back. But I don't know. Getting <laughs> getting 3,000 um, clay right now is going to be... It's going to take a while because we don't have the proper tools. Drop, 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 drop. And this one we keep. See, as, long as, as soon as we level up, we can get physician and then just combine these. And then those will go into this stack and the rest we can throw away. So it opens up a few slots for us. Uh, we're still busy over here. Let's just quickly finish off this place. It gives me the creeps with all the secret stashes of secret hiding places and stuff. But it is quite awesome. I wonder if I should go through the... Yeah, let's do it. If I die, I die. If not, cool. Um, I want to try and see if we go through the secret passage. If they, one, there's guppies. If there are guppies, I want to try and run away. See if I'm fast enough. Okay, that didn't do anything, right? I want to try and do this. Move slowly but surely through this place. You never know if there's going to be a, a guppy or whatever waking up behind one of these things. Okay. Uh, I think a guppy should be able to squeeze through there if it really tries. But at least if it struggles to get through, it's going to give us that split second to just stand up and run. Because I don't think the dogs can climb ladders yet. Well, I hope that's never a thing. Uh, but if a dog can't climb a ladder, we should be relatively safe. Hello, dude. What are you? Just a random guy, right? I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible. I'm trying to not step on any paper or anything. If there's going to be any bosses, it's going to be over here. This place is actually quite impressive if you think about it. I, I actually started watching the series way back when, when it came out. And then just after a while, I just stopped watching. I don't know if I lost interest in it or if it was never interesting to me or whatever. But I never completely watched the series. Please, 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 please. No guppy dogs. Nice. I wonder if I'll be able to hit his head from over here. Oh, that actually hit. Damn. And it broke. You know what? Let me just get my gun ready. Just in case. I do need more stone and stuff. Unfortunately, this doesn't give you stone. Like in zombie days, if you loot one of these, it gives you like 50 stone and then you break it. Now you mostly only get stone from this if you actually break it over here. As I know, this is very slow for some of you. But I'll rather go through this place slow than get overrun with like dogs and cops and bosses and stuff. Yeah, okay, I think we're safe. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself because I always do that. 
This place actually seemed rather huge, so hopefully it's not too big on the inside. Because if it gets too big on the inside, that means we're going to have way too much loot. And at the moment, we can't afford to have that much loot on us. I mean, more loot, the better. The more loot, definitely. But we can't afford to keep that much on us. Oh, this reminds me of one POI. There is one POI where as you walk through the place, there's like boards and stuff over here. And as you walk past the boards break and revealing all those zombies. It's been so long since I've seen that POI. I don't even know if it's in the game anymore. Damn. There's so, the, the biggest reason why I'm being so careful right now, guys, is there's so much space for there to be dogs. There could be dogs all over this place right now. I mean, they could, they couldn't. Uh, it's all of... You could just run through if you have the guns. But I do not have the resources. Oh. Oh. Did this just break? This frame shows it's there, but it's not. If I can just block off the top floor and the bottom floors, I can at least focus here quickly on looting this place. Hopefully he's just like a whine, he can't vomit. If he can vomit, I'm gonna have a hard time. Oh, my hands, you are too tough. Oh, did I just make you mad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boom. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we should, let's just get the pistol at the ready because the rest have not been reloaded. Oh, that's the way we have to go. So let's just do this. I should probably reload my blunderbusters and stuff because that's going to come in handy in a pinch. I'm so close to level 6 already. Yes, this works again. For those of you who don't know, this is the best way. For some reason, they don't consider breaking through the block. I mean, anything that works, right? Yeah, they're too dumb to fit through the block. Or break the block and come through. So they'll hold the jump on the block and break the tougher block. I don't know how that works, but it does. And that's one thing. I'm not, I'm, I don't mind exploiting the game, but I don't want to cheese the game too much. For example, the Darkest Falls being able to go in a one by one block, but the zombies can't crawl after you. That's technically cheesing it. You know what, there's a ton of doors over here. Let's just do this first. I have no idea which one leads to the top, so I'll rather just prepare myself just in case. With this, I can fire one shot from the blunderbuss, one from the HD, and then move my way to the pistol as I'm firing. Creepy Bates Motel. Technically, I should be breaking apart all of these things, guys, picking up all the resources. But if I don't have a proper shovel, I'm not even going to try it. At the moment, with this stone shovel, it's going to take the whole episode just breaking these pallets. So I'll rather just wait until we have iron tools and then go from there. Technically, making all this noise should wake up all the zombies on top. If you think about it, you're opening so many boxes. How do the zombies on the top not hear you? If a house is um, quiet on the inside, then technically they should hear all this noise. I'm still advocating for realism. Even this game is so far away from real. Okay, Cole, we can't loot the consoles. There's nothing up top. It seems like there's something behind a panel over there, but that's 300 HP that I don't want to break right now. Okay, so that leads outside. There's a... Uh, that's the top, outside, outside. That's basically like a storm... I don't, we don't actually have these in South Africa. If I break that, I'll be outside the house. Storm bunker. No? No, the bunkers are usually away from your houses, right? Just turn off my light. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Locked. I should probably walk with frames in hand. So I can uh, every now and then just block it. Because I think the biggest problem, if there's guppies in here, I'm dead. If I can run away from the guppy fast enough, then I'll, I'll survive. But other than that, I'm dead. Oops, hello. Oh, look at the skin knees. That's the first time I actually noticed that detail. That's actually kind of cool. Break your kneecap. That's actually really cool. I've never noticed the detail in some of these zombies. No wonder they're considered HD zombies, even though they break the game. Okay, so I'm guessing we're supposed to go through this hole in the wall over here. As soon as I'm done with this episode, I need to quickly go back to the crash and turn off the solar heating. 
basically it's just pipes going up to the roof um and then the sun heats it but if you leave it on during the night it actually cools down the water so i really need to get back there after this recording that's also why i need to re i, I want to finish this pri this recording so i don't have to go Ooh, it's bad this is bad this is bad i'm too encumbered right now i wonder I'm gonna try and do this. Uh, this might be dumb. If I can get a chest from this side, I wanna place it right there and I wanna dump stuff. It might be a dumb idea, it might be a cool idea, I'll see. Um, this is gonna determine <laughs> which one it is. We are almost level six, damn. Okay, let's do this. So we need to jump through this hole, right? You need to be so careful. If you accidentally step on paper or glass, oh, doesn't matter, it wakes him up. I was about to say, if you step on paper or glass, it will wake up the zombies, but they wake up nonetheless. I didn't step on paper just now. Please, uh, there's way too many guppies early game, I think. We're supposed to go upstairs, okay, cool. I need to be careful I don't fall downstairs now. Hello, hello, hello? But the problem is when they stand up with the backs to you, you can't really get their heads. Remember, you want to be careful not to accidentally hit their torsos. Oh yeah, I forgot, when you level up in this mod, you get two skill points. Nice. Um, okay, so we have to go for... Where is it again? Healing factor, no, it's not that one. Intellect, I think. Position. Boom. And now that we have that, we can go here. Ah, uh, no. Recipes. That was a mistake. First aid bandage. What do we need? Oh, you do need cloth. Are you kidding me? I thought you need bandages. That's why I had the bandages on me. I mean, it's easy enough to get cloth, but still. Damn, now I don't have enough. Um, at least it's just two per, so we can already make three. Oh, wait. Um, if you do this... I don't need normal bandages. I just need the proper ones. That's an easy way for me to do this right now. Four. I should actually keep these just in case I just want to stop bleeding. Now we have five of them. We just crafted five. And on with the next quest. Boom. Thank you. I just need to be careful. Sometimes it actually gives you stuff. Uh, get the cornmeal. I I'm going to do this whole medic thing before anything else. Watch. I looted that, right? Yes, that was locked. Sometimes behind this, there's loot. So you just have to check. Like there's a cave in floor or something, but there's always well, there's, there's sometimes there's a ton of good loot in there. Not always. Okay, now all these doors are locked. If I'm not mistaken, the final stashes or good stashes are over here in these doors, but they're all also locked. So I need to be careful right now. The light is that side. Does that mean I should actually first do the other rooms? Um, let's just do this. I want to do that. I want to close this door. Now we can run around a bit. If the zombies open up these doors for us, then awesome. Fine, thank you. It's nice when the sneak damage actually does damage. I've hit a few of these zombies before and it barely did any damage to them. Locked. Unlocked. Nice, no zombies. Oh, but now the floor just has to cave in, revealing the zombies underneath. I th I'm way too much of a pessimist, I think. But those are locked, so we'll, I, th I think there's a way to get to them. For now, though, I don't really think so. Okay, I was at least able to get the arrow back before I hit him. Sometimes, when I, especially when I explode their heads with a melee shot, you lose that arrow. Because technically the arrow was still in his head. I wonder how fast I can do this without dying. If there's guppies protecting the top, I have to run. Some of these places are really well protected. But mostly by like a ton of dogs. Oh, what the hell? Okay, just drew the attention of all the other zombies, but that's fine. Headshot. 
Should probably not reload on every single shot, but yeah. I didn't notice a zombie just now. That could have been really bad. Wait, am I supposed to go to the left or supposed to go to the right? It feels like I'm supposed to go this way now, but I blocked off the other side. Oh, I just backed up in here like it was... Oh, that, that could have been bad. I didn't realize the door was so close, so I just backed into the room. If this happened to be one of the tougher places... Ooh... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Um, I have the paper. Oh, I don't have enough now. You can scrap these for these and make bundles. I forgot that you can actually do that with the advanced ones. The HD ones. Go to show how long ago I've played this mod, guys. I'm only now remembering a few things. Okay, come on. The nice thing is with these pure eyes, we can hide in the... Ramps. By that I mean, uh, you saw I just faced that lady just now, right? I was hiding in the ramp. Um, so she would have had to first break the ramp before she could get to me. I think we're almost done with this PI. Hopefully. There are a few rooms downstairs that are locked. So I don't know if there's another way into them or if I should break through to them. But if I'm not mistaken, that was the final stashes room. No zombies over here, right? Let me just do this. If there's a zombie, I'll whack them. At least the way I just placed that frame, the zombies won't be able to get to me too easily. Okay, and let's see over here. Hey, zombies downstairs. I think you actually dropped down there, right? Oh, that was bad. That was almost... I wonder if I shouldn't... Yeah, let's just try this. A few headshots. Come on, get out of my way. I want to see if I can't do a few headshots from over here. See, these are the locked rooms. That's the final rooms. I want to see if I can get over there. Oops. Okay. It seems safe enough for now. Okay, we need fire axes, guys. If we can uh, break through wood faster, if we're stuck inside a room and we need to all of a sudden break out, we're going to be dead before we're able to try because of the fact that we have a stone axe. But if we had a fire axe, we can actually break through blocks way faster, doing more damage, just getting out. My whole stomach's going the whole time. I don't know if it, I hope my mic doesn't isn't sensitive enough, enough to pick that up. Okay, let's see. Nothing else, right? There might be bosses and stuff, so I should probably just make sure we load our guns. Before I go up there, we need to make sure. Because these guns are really good. If you hit the zombie in the face, that's all you need. Okay, so close that off. One more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, now you block the doorway, you dumb fool. You damn fool. Yeah, so, oh, uh, I was about to say, we fell from that side. And then we fall again. Or oh, I fall. Yeah, at least we didn't use any of our ammo just now. Guys, I need to get used to doing melee again. Like, purely melee for now. I don't want to waste all my ammo trying to kill these small fries. Okay, we were that side, now we're this side. I'm really nervous about this. Hello? Wait, what? Oh, we're gonna fall into the final room. I was about to say, what the hell's going on here? Where's the zombies? Where's the loot? Uh, please don't tell me there's another cave in floor over here. Sometimes you think that's the only one, as soon as you step closer, this thing breaks. Imagine as I'm saying that, this one breaks. It's nice when you're actually able to see the difference in texture and know, okay, cool, there's loot there. But I don't want to just fall down because just now there's bosses in there. So let's try this. Especially since I'm encumbered, I really just can't afford to fall in. Okay, Fat Mama HD version. Okay, that ju did that just fully kill her, right? I don't want to say, yeah, they killed her and jumped down, then I'm dead. Uh, this one's not that great, thank you. Scrap, scrap, scrap. I need to make as, as much space as possible because I don't want to be encumbered when I jump down. Okay, I need to block off that doorway over there because it seems if there's zombies, it's just going to be ya. Yeah. Just in case there's a zombie on that side. I mean, there might be, might not be, who knows. I'm not going to take a chance. 
these textures in the walls sometimes look so weird and fake that you think there's gonna be a zombie popping out of here. This looks almost like there's a fake wall. <laughs> now I turn my back and all of a sudden it was a fake wall. I, I don't know why I love jinxing myself so much. I mean, it could be a jinx uh, or nothing could happen. It's not a jinx, but most of the times something happens. Okay, wow, 30 items encumbered. This is really, really bad. We're barely going to be able to make it to the base. Oh, okay, the more I loot, the worse it gets. Obviously, but damn. I'm going to have to make sure that we scrap every single non-essential thing we have on us. If there's a dog or something here now, guys, we're dead. There's no way we outrun this. That door's locked, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to break through... Our base is which side? This side. I should probably just break through the window over here and jump down because I need way more space. I think I'm going to call the episode here, guys. I'm just going to go dump my loot. Um, next episode, we have to try and see if we can't find a rucksack because this is getting ridiculous. Uh, we do also have that loot in the one box, so I need to go back for that. And yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.